What about quest lines? I know, I know, but you know, you know how we, you, you know how we run things here. Dr. Disrespect was once one of Twitch's most popular creators, and since 2020, he's been banned from the platform. At the time of his ban, many people speculated as to what it could be, and we were under the assumption that Dr. Disrespect actually had no idea himself. Later on, we were being told that legal action was being taken, and that eventually led to a settlement. With still very little information, the community was left with nothing but to speculate. It wasn't until a couple days ago when a moderator from Twitch basically exposed what Dr. Disrespect was getting up to behind the scenes. And just yesterday, Dr. Disrespect came out in a tweet of his own explaining everything. How do you pronounce that guy, Beam, better known as, uh, as his streamer persona, Dr. Disrespect? Said he was banned on Twitch four years ago due to private messages he sent to a minor uh, that sometimes lean too much into the direction of being inappropriate. I'm just going to call him Beam. Beam shared details of the ban in a lengthy post to ugh, X. He cheated on his wife. Ooh, you're right you're right and stop you you are so right yeah that is around the time he did that right because i remember he went live and it just was like yep i cheated on my wife and then like i think i think he ended the stream after that i remember that yeah, you, I think you're right about that. This is a red flag all around. Yeah, we're, we're going to talk about it. Everyone has been waiting to know why I was banned from Twitch, but for some reason outside of my control, I was not allowed to say anything for the last several years. Being posted on on X, now that two former Twitch employees have publicly, publicly disclosed the accusations, I can now tell my side of the story regarding the ban. A former... Twitch employee posted to X that Beam was banned because he got caught sexting a minor. So for a little context, this was the tweet made just a couple days ago by Cody Connors. In the tweet, it says, he got banned because he got caught sexting a minor in the then existing Twitch Whispers product. He was trying to meet up with her at TwitchCon. The powers that could be read in plain text. This guy is actually a Twitch moderator, so what he says actually holds some weight. But this wasn't the most convincing thing, obviously. But we'll get to that later in the video. Why did he share the reason he was banned? I think I think it's literally just to kind of like get ahead of it all. That that'd be my best guess is to get ahead of the allegations and uh, say it from his own mouth. I don't know. I genuinely have no idea how you would even like like because he can't he can't lie about it. He can't ignore it. I feel like because these are coming from Twitch moderators. So I mean, what they're what they're saying is pretty would be pretty valid. I think um, I, I don't know. Twitch employee told The Verge that Beam was banned over messaging. Oh, messages sent to a minor that disclosed. Oh, that discussed meeting up at TwitchCon. The reports offered the first details of Beam's ban since it was issued in 2020. In the statement, Beam says that there were messages between him and an unnamed minor back in 2017. Yeah. Oh my God. And Stalin, you might be right. So for some more context, in 2017, Dr. Disrespect went live to tell everyone that he actually was unfaithful to his wife, that he had cheated on her. Kind of have a, a little bit of a little bit of an announcement. Um, and I just want to be completely transparent with you guys. Uh, as you guys know, I have a, a beautiful family and a wife and kid and um i want to be transparent that i've been unfaithful and uh and i'm probably going to be taking some time away take time off to focus on i'm gonna take time off to focus on my family and and so i just wanted to let you guys know that and now that we know he was messaging a minor back in 2017 the dots start to connect now, keep in mind, we do not have the messages just yet. We don't know what was said, what was happening. So everything right now is alleged. What we do have confirmation of is that he was texting a minor and that it was teetering on inappropriate. And that's from his mouth. The reports offered the first details of Beam's ban since, uh, since it was issued in 2020. His statement, Beam said, in his statement, Beam says that there are messages between him and an unnamed minor back in 2017. Beam says that there is no real intentions behind the messages. No pictures were shared and two and the two never met. I should have never entertained these conversations conversations to begin with beam rights we're gonna go ahead and read his post by the way as well uh just so we get the full story beam had signed a two-year exclusivity contract to stream on twitch just months before he was removed from the platform at the time he was one of the twitch's biggest stars with around four million followers twitch never commented on the ban and beam at times indicated that he didn't even know why he was removed from the platform in a statement today beam says that he went to the 
Oh, that's also really interesting because uh, I also remember him mentioning. I also remember him, him mentioning being a uh, suing Twitch, right? Like he he was he was trying to sue. Uh, I'm curious as to how. I, I don't. I obviously don't think anything came from that. In the statement today, Beam says that the uh, okay operation with Twitch to settle the dispute over his exclus exclusivity contract. He previously said that no wrongdoing was acknowledged and that they paid. Oh. And they paid off the whole contract, huh? So Midnight Society was founded in 2021, and it was co-founded by Dr. Disrespect and a bunch of other veteran game developers. And basically, they did their own research into Dr. Disrespect's case following his Twitch ban. And just a couple days ago, they tweeted out that they are letting him go. So to me, this is ringing alarm bells in my head because this would be hard proof that something went down in those messages. If Dr. Disrespect was just talking to a minor, I don't think he would have been dropped for now. And that is, if you guys don't know, Midnight Society, who, who, which is the game that Doc helped build, right, and create, and he was a part of the company, did their own investigative research behind the scenes, right, and found enough, right, found enough evidence to let him go from the company, right? Not like, not administrative leave, not... We'll address this later. Like, let him go after doing their own research, right? And after doing their own in internal investigation behind the scenes. So, like, if that's not enough, right, evidence or, or, or enough to, like, they found something is what I'm trying to say, okay? Now, let's, like, I've, I've, I've seen a bunch of clips out there. I've seen a bunch of stuff from XUC, like, who said apparently there's more stuff coming out. So, until then... It's only been two days into the situation, so let's just wait until we see more. But like, that's all I have to say. Yeah, saying I didn't do anything illegal or like there was no wrongdoing. I mean, a lawsuit at the end of the day, not a lawsuit, but a settlement, right? Because there's talks about a settlement. A settlement, no matter what it looks like publicly, it usually means someone did something, right? Or there was some truth to some, enough truth, right? You, you, you settle to cover things up. You settle to not let things get out there. There has been considerable fallout for Beam since uh, the details emerged. Yesterday, Midnight Society, a video game studio Beam co-founded in 2021, announced that it has ended its relationship with the creator. Okay. So, okay. So Beam's game studio cut ties with them, which is nuts. Studio head uh, Midnight Society wrote, If you inappropriately message a minor, I cannot work with you. Turtle Beach and Gaming Peripheral... Oh, th there they are. The, the companies that are cutting ties with them. Peripheral manufacturer has also announced that it's uh, severed its ties with Beam. In a statement to The Verge, uh, McLean Marshall, Turtle Beach's senior director of global communications, wrote, We will not be continuing our par partnership with the guy Beam, Dr. Disrespect. After this ban from Twitch, Beam resumed his streaming career on YouTube. I thought he went to Facebook Live. Does anyone remember when he went to like Facebook Live? I thought I could have sworn he went to like Facebook Live or something like that. And it was garnered, uh, oh, more than 4.7 million subscribers there. Yesterday at the end of the stream, Beam said that he was fatigued and considering extending his break from streaming. However, in today's statement, Beam appeared defiant. It seems like he's just going to continue. Is that what his plan is? He's just going to address the allegations, take responsibility for them, and just continue to upload. That is probably 500% what he's doing, I think, with this. He's taking a long break. Well, I mean, brother, I don't think that, I don't think that break is going to help the guy. Okay, let's go ahead and read his post. So, the Twitch ban. Hello, I'd like to make a quick statement. Let's cut the fucking bullshit. As you know, there is no filter with me. Always been up front with... <laughs> I've always been up front with you guys and real with you guys on anything that I can be up front about. And I'm always willing to accept responsibility, which is why I am here now. First and foremost, I want to apologize to everyone in my community, as well as those close to me, my team, and everyone at Midnight Society Game Studio. <clears throat> A lot of people have been left in the dark about what happened yesterday with Midnight Society and I, and we made a painful decision collectively. 
to have me step down our team is fully incredible uh, full of incredibly talented and good people that have high career ambitions and families i'd never want to jeopardize the future we have carefully crafted everyone has been wanting to know why i was banned from twitch but for reasons outside of my control i was not allowed to say anything for the last several years now that two former twitch employees have publicly disclosed their accus uh, the accusations I can finally, I can now tell you my side of the story regarding the ban. Were there Twitch whispers with an individual minor back in 2017? The answer is yes. So this is edited, by the way, just for uh, reference. This is edited to an individual and a minor was taken out. An individual minor back in 2017? The answer is yes. Were there intentions behind these messages? The answer is absolutely not. These were casual mutual conversations Sometimes uh, that sometimes leaned into much, leaned too much in the direction of being inappropriate. But nothing more. Nothing illegal happened. No pictures were shared. No crimes were committed. I never even met the individual. I went through a lengthy arbitration regarding the civil dispute uh, with Twitch. And that case was resolved by the settlement. Okay. By a settlement. Which is uh, a tell for sure. Let me be clear. <laughs> it was not a criminal case against me. No criminal charges have ever been brought against me. Now, from a moral standpoint, I absolutely take responsibility. I should have never entertained these conversations to begin with. That's on me. That's on me as an adult, a husband and a father. It should have never happened. I get it. I'm not perfect and I'll fucking own my shit. This was stupid. Now that, now with all that said, don't get it fucking mistaken. I've never, I've seen all the remarks, the labels being thrown around so loosely. Social media is... A destruction zone i'm no predator or pedophile are you kidding me um now that all now with all that said okay i'm not a pedophile are you kidding me anyone that truly knows me fucking knows where i stand on those things dude i feel like i feel like every single like statement against being a pedophile that like is that is just there anyone who knows me actually knows that i'm not a pedophile like okay man that proves me that that proves nothing bro that is like hilarious I, every single one anyone who knows me knows i'm not like that guys come on things at different level okay don't be labeling me as the worst of the worst with you with your exaggerations get the fuck out of here with that shit all right dr disrespect all right let's see what else does he say but i think i said what i needed to say regarding the set ban itself that's it that's why twitch made uh that's why twitch made the decision back in 2020 to my team community industry friends that I that have supported me, I apologize. I wish I could I wish I could say I wish I could have said this all sooner. You guys have showed me and my family love and support throughout all these years. We love you guys uh like you can't imagine. I have the fucking best community and circle. If any of this has made you uncomfortable, I get it. I don't have uh oh, you don't have to support me anymore. But just know uh you have always been greatly appreciated. But trust me when I say this, to all my haters that live and breathe social media with zero real life experience, I don't give a fuck about you. Okay, man. Finally, if you're uncomfortable with the entire statement and think I'm a piece of shit, that's fine. But I'm not fucking going anywhere. I'm not the same guy. Okay. I'm not the same guy that made this mistake all those years ago. I'm taking an extended vacation with my family, as mentioned on stream, and I'm coming back with a heavy weight off my shoulders. They want me to disappear. Yeah, fucking right. That's about all we have as of right now. I'm sure more stuff will come out in the future and we'll probably be covering that as well. But this is about all we have. Inserting my own opinion in here, I do think that he did do something pretty bad. Everything points to that conclusion. So yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and I will see you all in the next one.